Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and a very public vlog. I'm heading into central London to try and hunt down the Shelby Mustang GT350R that Ford UK have lost. So I'm headed to Hoban Holborn train station on the underground. I'm going to try and hunt it down. Made it to London, a very busy and a very humid London. The train journey was horrendous, as always, super busy. And now I'm heading towards, where am I headed? YouTube and Google headquarters, I think they are. Because supposedly that is where the Shelby GT350 is. I can't wait to see it, it's an awesome car. It sounds ridiculous for a stock car. And I also saw the unveiling in Detroit, North America. So I uh, can't wait to see this car. It's the same one that was at Goodwood. But it's just a rubbish day in London. It's so hot but not sunny at all. I've even got my sunglasses, but I'm not even going to wear them because there's no point. I look stupid. Right, I've been following the maps, looking around now for this car. It's said to be in a courtyard somewhere, so I'm going to head this way and try my luck over here. Looking down every road. Trying to get my car spotting skills up to scratch, ready for the summer. It's a cool building though. Different colours, yellow, orange, green. The car has been found. Time to get some pictures. What a beast. It's on Michigan plates as well. The Shelby GT350. This is the R. The most track ready Ford Mustang that you can get. Look at those plates. It's badass. Look at those exhausts. It's got one of the loudest stock exhaust systems I've ever heard on a car. This is the car that Ben Collins, the former Stig, took up the Goodwood Hill Climb. And as you can see, he hasn't left much uh, tire tread. So as you may have seen on Twitter overnight, this car was lost by Ford UK. So I'm wondering whether the key is somewhere around here. The Ford are looking for the car, so I'm going to have a rummage through some of these bushes. I'm going to look super weird to the members of the public. Looking in bushes. And probably to the restaurant that this is, but there's no no key in there. It's the only place I can think of. No key in that bush. I don't even know what the Shelby key looks like. So I've had an idea, and I'm going to check the tyres, and you will not believe it, guys. I've got the key. Shelby key. Does that mean it's? Does that mean it's open? Whoa. I literally... I'm gonna shut the door. Don't think there has been many people sit in a Mustang, Shelby Mustang GT350. Check this out, guys. Look at the steering wheel, that is as aggressive is the front of the car. Because it's the track one, it's a manual. Cup holders, in case you want a coffee when you're going around the corner. And absolutely no rear seats. Some pretty interesting buttons. Start, stop. No one needs them, unless you've got that off. Then everyone needs hazard lights to make sure that people know that you've got the traction control off. And there's also a launch control button, ladies and gentlemen. But around here, don't think we can do any launches. As I've got the key, should I start it up? Does sound good. Although we are in a very public place. Should I do it? How'd you do it? Do you reckon it's the same as the R8? Dip the clutch. Uh-oh. 
just at the clutch and the start stop has gone green. Oh. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the V8 is alive and it's buzzing at me. Okay, okay. So this is my view at the moment. It says it's running low on fuel, so I'm not gonna get anywhere fast. Might put the window down. Look at that view. What shall we do? Track apps? Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Did you hear that? Ladies and gentlemen, the sport mode is on. Should I rev it again? It's alive! <laughs> I think I'm the first sort of person filming just on an iPhone to rev this car. Right, I have got to um, somehow get someone to film it. Excuse me, can you just film the back of the car? Oh my god, <laughs> this is insane. There's many people looking and uh, I'm having girls come up and take pictures on the side. So I'm going to take a picture on my Instagram as well. <laughs> what an insane car. I think the fact that there's no fuel in it and also absolutely no tread on these rear tyres from what Ben Collins has done at Goodwood means that this car is unfortunately not going to be able to go anywhere. But at least we got to hear it. And thanks to that stranger for filming from the rear on my phone. I just realised it could have ran off with my phone. I was just getting too excited. But the interior is super cool. Um, and I want one of these. I want one as my daily. Do you reckon I should get one? Imagine a two-car garage. Maybe a Lambo. And this. Clean a little bit the in interior and also filled it up as well. Ah! Big glory. Ah! 